Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And today we got a one up Wednesday. Yeah, one up. Look at that beauty. But first, look at this. <laughs> July 12th, 2020. It's a Sunday. It's coming up this Sunday. Yeah, I can't believe it. I got to get going on this. Um, we're going to do a boxing video and we're going to give it away. Yes. So make sure that you have subscribed. Make sure you subscribe even now and comment and we will try to do the uh, YouTube uh, random comment uh, subscriber giveaway. And uh, yeah, so make sure you join us Sunday. Um, I believe it's going to be like nine o'clock. That's uh, U.S. Standard Natural uh, Time. Uh, it's when all my videos come out, 9 o'clock. So, yeah, come and join us. All right, let's get to it. What up, Wednesday? Vessi, Vetsi, uh, Vetsi Group. I believe that's uh, the pronounce, per, right pronunciation. Vetsi is uh, the toy manufacturer here. And... Um, Made in China, the Vetsy Group. Now, let's uh, what we're looking at. Let's just take a look here. R. Meji and uh, B. Gurek, uh, winners of the Paris Dakar 1981, and uh, this is the VSD uh, 212 Range Rover that won the Paris Dakar. All right, and so we're gonna look at this. Um, I'm not really sure where I got this. I think I might have got this at Model Empire. Uh, if you don't uh, remember uh, any of the videos about that, but anyway, uh, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. It is uh, one uh, 130 143 scale, I believe. So uh, yeah, not too awfully big, but very very nicely detailed. So let's uh, get into it. We're going to kind of take a look at uh, this. Um, so first off, obviously it says uh, skid on there. Now, uh, Betsy uh, started in 1982, supposedly as far as uh, Wiki says. And uh, you can go to this uh, website. They are bought out and, um, and such and so forth. But uh, Portuguese company making die cast cars, mostly 143rd scale. Founded in uh, city, uh, what is it, Orpoto, Orpoto, uh, brand name uh, from um, Sirius, Cerner, Cer Cerner, Cernorus, I'm not sure, LTD, but anyway, uh, in 1992, they had up to 40 different models, but then eventually, um, Betsy was purchased by Sunstar Models from uh, Macau, Macau, where a lot of the uh, Hot Wheels or uh, Matchbox were made in Macau. So there you go. Uh, yeah, the Range Rover VHD VSD number two twelve is the uh, the model that we're looking at, and uh, they Betsy had uh, mainly three uh, lines. Betsy Pro, uh, Models, Betsy Rally, and uh, Corzo, which I believe this skid is part of the Rally group, obviously, because it's a Rally car here. So, yeah, very interesting, very interesting. So, here it is. We're going to try to kind of take a deeper look at this and uh, talk a little bit more about the model um, so I totally love Dakar and, um, Dakar, the Paris Dakar started, uh, December 26, 1978 with, uh, Bernard, um, uh, not this Bernard, another, another Bernard, but anyway, he, uh, made a horrible trek across the, uh, continent Paris to Dakar Africa and uh, he went back and he said hey let's make a uh, rally race out of it and uh, yeah so in uh, 1979 uh, that was uh, 
Yeah, when they took off and started the, the Paris Dakar rally. Now, eventually, and I couldn't find any information about it, when they dropped the Paris and just went with Dakar. So today it's called a Dakar rally. Uh, really, really kind of cool. Uh, they do not run Range Rovers anymore. Um, yeah, they um, ran them in the, in the beginning and uh, quite a bit. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, Range Rover won the first one in 1979. Uh, well, started in 78. It's December. It starts in December, uh, like 78, and then it ends in 79. So the race is in 79. And then uh, in 1981. And um, But after that, it was a series of second, third, fourth, fifth place uh, for the next, uh, I don't know, 10 years or so. And then eventually, they just were not big enough cars, movers, as the British would say. But uh, these two guys, uh, Rene and Bernard, are Frenchmen. And uh, they, they drove their uh, Range Rover V8. And you can see that their... Uh, Oh, Rene is uh, O positive French, and uh, Bernard doesn't have his blood type on the door there, if you can see that. <laughs> I always thought about doing that on my car, but I didn't want to be overly morbid. But yeah, if you can see here, this is kind of a... They do that on Camel Trophy as well. But very, very colorful. I think VSD is a publication, I believe. I couldn't really find much about it. There's a nice little antenna up there, nice little lights on the on the hood there. Very very colorful all the way around. Um, this is actually this is not correct to the uh, actual vehicle. The rosette wheels were black, and uh, so these are model silver here. But uh, but yeah, they were black on the real vehicle. But you can just see beautiful details here. Uh, lens details, added pieces. Uh, most of this car is die cast. Uh, you can see that screwed down there. But uh, yeah, not not um, not a totally closed. This uh, this side is open here, and you can see some of the instrument instrumentation for the rally. A uh, little red. Uh, fire extinguisher, I believe there and stuff like that. If we can focus. Yeah, there you go uh, It is a uh, left hooker So a uh, French there, of course But uh, very nicely detailed. Look at that. It's got the uh, reflective uh, Sticker on the uh, rear view mirror But uh, yeah, it has uh, very nice detail. I'm zoomed in here So we're gonna take a couple of neat close-up shots individual wipers individual fog lights just very very nice uh very nicely done i don't know i think yeah we can move the wheels the wheels move so uh very very flamboyant colors yeah can't miss that in the desert there and let's come around to the back there lens details also on the back tail tail lights you don't want to look behind you. Yep, apparently you don't want to look behind you. Now the back window is totally uh, covered up. And uh, yeah, it's just very, very nice. No uh, real details for the uh, gas filler there, but uh, it's, it has a dent indentation there. So really kind of cool. I like this model. I'm really excited to have this. This is uh, my one and only that I have of uh, this brand as well as... Um, you know, this, this particular um, representation of this Range Rover, too. The uh, winner, Paris Dakar, 1981. So, very kind of cool. Very kind of cool. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today. Nice look at uh, one of Wednesday. Coming up on a year old. Yeah, can't believe it, can you? All right. Make sure you come on over to uh, Facebook. Well, first off, you got to subscribe. I got to po poke down here. Subscribe. Come over to Facebook. Ask to join the membership there of the Facebook Roverland group. 
Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Roverland Channel. And there we go. What up Wednesday is in the books. You guys have a great midday hump day. Slow traffic keep right. And have a great Rover day.